Hi all, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today's one, I'm uh, I'm just going to show you how to update FreeBSD from source. Um, fairly straightforward, a couple of commands. Takes a bit of time, have to admit, uh, but perhaps in another one, I'll, I'll show you how to do it using FreeBSD update. That's that's much easier, and probably the one that most people. Do. I like to do it from source because it then means that your your installation is completely customized to your hardware. Whereas with the the FreeBSD FreeBSD update tool, it's mainly binary updates. Like I say, neither is wrong. Um, it's just really your your preference. I prefer source. Um, so we'll jump into our terminal. Here it is. Lovely black screen. And we want to just make sure that we're in user source. And there's the FreeBSD source. Now, you can also do a custom kernel here if you really want. Um, if you wanted to add in different devices, um, you would do that by creating a, a custom kernel. So for my purposes on on this machine, I had to create a kernel for this because it's a Mac Mini, um, and I'll just show you how I did that. Um, so as you can see, what I did for this one was add in a custom kernel, and I had to add in some network devices just to get Wi-Fi to work. Pain in the bottom. Um, but then I wouldn't have expected this Mac Mini to be supported full stop, so kind of glad that worked in the end. Um, so that was good. Um, and then literally, it's about five commands. So the first one we would do would be make install world. And it will go off to the races. There we go. So I will skip ahead so you don't have to see that. That will take a fair few hours depending on your hardware. On this one, it took overnight, but it's a core two duo, really old thing. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll skip ahead so you can see the rest of it. So once you finish building world, what you would then do is, is the next step, which would be to build the, the kernel, which would be Make build kernel, and then you tell it which kernel config you want to use. So kern conf equals, and in my case, I called it Mac Mini. And again, that will go off to the races. So while it's doing that, I will skip ahead again for you. Okay, so that's finished. Um, that took about 30 minutes for that one. Um, the next command would be to install that kernel. So we'll change from build kernel to install. And again, that'll go off to the races. So uh, we'll come back when that's finished. Okay, so that's finished. Um, the next one we would then do would be um, make install world and that will go off to the races as well okay we'll come back when that's finished that one shouldn't take too long once uh, once you've got the rest all built that one will take maybe 10-15 minutes um, once it's all installed you can literally just reboot now there is a few other things that you can do and it is kind of especially important if you're going from uh, one major version to another. Um, I don't generally do this. So you, I like to do these things by hand. Um, the one thing that you could do before running make install world would be to run merge master minus capital FP, which will just run through your ETC directories and a, a few other directories and, and gather the differences. Again, like I said, this is only really that important if you're doing it uh, across major update, major version updates. On a, a point upgrade, so if you're going from 13.0 to 13.0 P4, 
five or seven, probably don't really need to do this. Um, once you've installed World, you can then run Merge Master minus capital F I, and that will give you the changes. And you can go through and just make sure that you've got all the configurations that you need. Uh, do a, a make delete hyphen old. That will get rid of all the old libs that you don't need. Reboot again, and you're done. That's it. It's it's really quite simple to do it as a as source. It's just a little bit on the time consuming side. But again, like I said, I like to do it this way purely so that it, I know that it's all configured for my system. Um, I hope you found this useful, guys. Um, please give it a like if you did. Um, share and, and subscribe and keep coming back for more, please. It, I, it just makes my day knowing that people are actually watching these and that I can actually pass on my knowledge and I really do appreciate you guys coming and watching. Okay, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Take care, guys.